Hey everyone, it's Grace and today um, the weather is never gonna cooperate with me because it was raining really really hard earlier and I was crossing my fingers that you know it would stop because I need some sunlight because I don't have any other lighting fixtures here in this dorm so um, yeah so today I'll be doing a first impression on the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation and I have it in the shade 60 Sandy Beige, which is their second lightest shade. The first one is 40 Nude, and then I don't remember the rest because I was debating between the two shades. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this one because I loved the Dream Satin Skin Foundation, and this is their Air Whipped Liquid Foundation, while this one is their Air Whipped, another uh, first gel whipped um, foundation. So, I'm so excited. Um, this one, I did a first impression. On, no, I didn't do a first impression. No, I did a review on this one if you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have SPF. While well, this one has SPF, this one has an SPF of 24. And this one, as I said, has no SPF. This one has um, 30 mils of product, which is one fluid ounce. And this one has... I cannot see how many... Um, oh yeah 30 and so they both carry the same amount of product so um, I'll be using fingers on this side and a brush on this swipe swipe side so um, yeah I saw this new brush from Marinade and Marinade um, I think changed their brand packaging altogether like it now looks like this and it's more expensive which sucks did i say what brush this is this is 15 blush it looks like this i actually like the new brush this one's blush but it's like a small flat top brush so i thought i want to try it out with a foundation so um yeah um my skin has been doing a lot of weird things lately so i have some acne scar here a few little pimple bumps on my forehead and yeah so it's the perfect time to test it because while I was watching this at the back of my hand um, in the store um, it, it felt like it had it feels like it has more coverage compared to the dream satin skin one so yeah or maybe because the formula is gel I don't know I remember using the first gel foundation from Maybelline a long time ago and I did like it. What's that? It's something with angel something. No. Aqua gel foundation. So anyways, enough chit chat. Oh, it's sealed. How can you smell it when it's sealed? So far I can't smell anything. So see it's kind of Moosey gel -y. Moosey gel -y kind of foundation. So, um, now where's my mirror? That feels weird, but, um, Oh my gosh, this one has like a skin-like finish, but it really evened out my skin. <sighs> that is gorgeous. So, there you go. So this is the area with no foundation, and this is the area with foundation. And, oh my gosh. This one feels like, okay, it feels, it has a slightly kind of sticky texture, well, not, it's not even sticky, it's, um, um, I don't know, it's like semi-dry, semi-not dry, so I do like that, but at least, so at least when you like put it in some other parts of your face, it won't look, I mean, it won't 
dry up right away and it will be hard to blend but the finish i love the finish you guys can see it really evened out my skin tone and it still looks very skin like and i like that i don't like foundations that mask your face and just looks very unnatural this one looks beautiful doing the other side without the brush and this brush guys it's really really good really really good and this was 244 pesos see i told you maria brushes upped upped up their game but um yeah they're more expensive now which sucks but that's pretty good anyways time for finger time the best free tool you can have full face done so I really enjoying this foundation the finish is just a very skin like it doesn't look cakey at all and everything it's just amazing um, yeah my redness here were, was really really bad it covered it really really well this is amazing I am amazed I set it with the fashion 21 two-way cake with milk moisturizers just so everything just doesn't look completely matte and stuff i didn't want to set it with a mattifying powder it might look too flat that's why i option for boom highlight so um yeah it, it will look a little bit that's where it will look really really flat if you start setting it already at first it will look like that so um yeah that's why i optioned for like a more um obvious highlight because that that just looks so good but um yeah so far i love the first impressions on this so let's just see how well the foundation will look throughout the day i hope it looks well um i'm not quite sure if i would recommend this to dry skinned people because it will be a little bit too matte even though it's a soft matte hydrating um foundation <laughs> It's 1.34 in the afternoon and let's check back with you guys after a couple of hours. So back it is 5.06 in the afternoon and um, yeah, this is how the foundation looks. You guys can see I'm getting oily on my T-zone area. Um, again, I'm reviewing the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So it's been 4 hours, I think, I think. And um, yeah, you look oily, but you don't look that oily yet. But um, yeah, but I will blot to see how much oil I have on my face. four hours which honestly it's pretty normal for me so it's not that bad and I still love the finish of the foundation the foundation still looks flawless as ever and I just love it it's 508 and I'll check back with you guys after a couple of hours it is 919 919 in the evening and I just realized I've just been editing, doing, doing school works, and sleeping. I just realized I have no water, so I need to buy water, and then I have to cook. So, anyways, um, yeah. So this is again the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Now I love it. Now in this area, it doesn't really look that oily, but it's actually starting to get oily in this area. Um, I would probably blot after like a few more hours i feel like i don't need to blot right now so that's my last update with you guys was five o'clock so it's been roughly four hours same with the last update four hours four hours but now it's not as oily as the first update so um yeah 
really really like this foundation it's amazing as i said it blends in so nicely it creates this skin like texture and it doesn't dry up easily usually my experience with matte foundations they dry up really really fast and then it can be hard to blend this one just blends like a dream dream velvet and it's just it's beautiful if you're looking for a new matte foundation i highly suggest you guys get this because it's 25% off i don't know till when but also the dream satin skin is 20 25% off so this one is originally 499 pesos you can get it for 374.7 uh, 0.25 pesos um till i don't know maybe like for the whole september or i don't know but i got it 25 percent off um yesterday and it's beautiful i highly highly suggest this one now comparing it to dream satin skin um i don't know which one i like better because i both like this uh, both like this formation but maybe for days that it's really like it's colder and my skin is having a lot of a bit more dry patches i would probably not wear this but what i did earlier was actually mix the two foundations just in case um it would be a bit too matte for me and it still worked fine so the coverage i never really mentioned the coverage the coverage is medium to semi full coverage like it's not like when you put it on it's like whoa in your face full coverage no it's not it's a very very buildable it layers beautifully and um yeah i do like so um hope you guys like this video if you guys want to see this face pop up in your subscription box click the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in my next video